Hello friends, welcome to Situs Biology and Creativity. Today our topic is about SDS page. So let's see what is meant by SDS page first. So SDS means sodium dodecyl sulfate. Page means polyacrylamide gel. The use of this protocol is to separate the proteins based upon their sizes. Before starting the procedure, let's see what are the required chemicals for this protocol. So in this procedure, we are using the Jenny kit. It contains two parts that is part one as well as a part two. Apart from this, we are also using the vertical electrophoresis chamber as well as a gel loading cassette like a vertical cassette, glass cassette as well as a comb for making the wells as well as the wires which are containing the anode as well as the cathode. So these are the required materials. So let's see what are the chemicals present in the kits. In the part 1 kit here we are going to see the reservoir buffer as well as the 30% acrylamide and it is SDS with pH 8.8 .8, as well as a sample loading buffer and the sample like a protein sample A, protein sample B as well as a protein sample C as well as a protein marker. So like this the, the part A kit contains like this and the part B contains the temid, temid chemical as well as the APS that is nothing but the ammonium per sulfate and AZ blue stain which is going to stain the separated. Let's start the procedure by preparing the resolving gel. So the required chemicals are water, 30% acrylamide, 3 SDS, APS as well as the temid. So here we are going to take the distilled water for about 1.7 ml with the help of the micro pipette in the mini beaker or you can take in the epentroph tube also. So later on you are going to add 2.0 ml of the 30% acrylamide in the same beaker. So after adding the 30% acrylamide, you are going to add the Tris SDS carrying the 8.8 .8 pH for about 1.35 ml. So after that we are going to add the ammonium per sulfate for about 50 microliters. It is going to play a major role as a solidifying agent. Final, we are going to add the temid for about 2 microliters. So by following this composition we are going to prepare the resolving gel about 5 ml. So let's see loading of the resolving gel in the vertical glasses. So, here we are going to place the vertical glasses in an undisturbed manner and we are going to pour the resolving gel with the help of the micro pipette in the glasses without forming any air bubbles in it. If the air bubbles are formed means it is going to disturb the passage of the proteins in the gel. That's why it is necessary to observe whether the air bubbles are going to be formed in the gel or not. We need to take care of that. After filling of the gel in the vertical glasses, allow it to solidify by keeping it aside for few minutes. So let's start the preparation of the stacking gel. So here for the preparation of the stacking gel, here first we need to take the distilled water for about 1.4 ml. Later you need to add the 30% acrylamide for about 330 microliters. After that you need to add the Tris SDS carrying 6.8 pH for about 270 microliters. Later you are going to add the APS that is ammonium per sulfate for about 20 microliters in it. So finally we are going to add the Temet for about 2 microliters in it. This is the composition for 2 ml of the stacking gel for pouring to the upper part of the uh, vertical glass cassette. So after preparation we are going to load that stacking gel to the upper part of the cassette. Before pouring the stacking gel into it we, have, we need to place the comb for making the wells. So like this we are going to pour the stacking gel to the top of the vertical cassette. So allow the gel to get solidified. So at that time we are going to prepare the samples. 
So let's say here we are going to place the four ependra of cubes for the four samples. So here we are going to take the 25 microliters of the A, B, C uh, protein samples which are given in the kit. Apart from the ABC samples here, we are also taking the protein marker. So here we are going to take the 10 microliter of the, of the protein marker to its specific appendroff tube. So to all these samples, again we need to add the 15 microliters of the gel loading buffer that is a sample loading buffer in each. So this sample loading buffer is mainly used for the uh, visualization of the bands which are getting separated in the gel that is the protein separation. Mix the samples properly and incubate for 10 minutes. So later on you need to check the gel was solidified or not. So by reverting the gel cassette into the vertical in the reverse manner you can check the whether the gel is solidified or not. If the gel is solidified remove the comb carefully like this without the disturbance of the wells. You can observe the wells here. So after the removing of the comb from the cassette here you need to uh, clean the wells with the help of the distilled water like this. So after that you can revert back the cassette for the removal for the discarding of the water from it. So here you can observe the cleared wells here. Like this we need to prepare the gel for the separation of the proteins. Later upon you need to remove the clamps from the vertical glass like this. Later upon you need to remove the cover and after that you need to remove the uh, down spacing arm by transfer of the buffer from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir. With the help of the spatula or any other tool like this you can remove the down spacer arm slowly without the disturbance of the gel to it. So here the wells which are going to be seen there like this you have to place the a vertical glass a gel cassette towards the upper reservoir to, of the uh, electrophoresis chamber. After placing the gel cassette to the electrophoresis clamp it tightly with the help of the screws as seen in the video. After fixing the gel cassette to the electrophoresis here, you need to fill the reservoirs with the help of the 1x buffer. At first, you need to fill the lower reservoir with the 1x buffer. Later upon, you need to fill the upper reservoir like this. While pouring the buffer into the upper reservoir, observe that the wells are filled with the buffer or not. So it is necessary to fill the wells with the buffer. So after that, loading of the samples in the wells. So after certain incubation time, we are going to pick that samples and we are going to load into the specific wells like this. After sampling, we are going to fix that electrophoresis to the power pack like this by fixing the cathode to the cathode as well as the anode to the anode. So here why we are placing the samples towards the cathode means because the proteins are carrying the negative charge. So they are going to be separated towards the positive that is the anode. So likewise the bands are getting separated. So when the dye front reaches 0.5 cm above the bottom of the gel, turn off the power. So like this the band reaches 0.5 cm above the bottom by liberating the different molecular weights carrying proteins on the upper side. Now this is the time to stain the separated proteins fragments. So here we need to remove the gel from the glass cassette, vertical glass cassette and we are going to place it in the plastic box and we need to wash it with the distilled water for 5 minutes. After washing it off, discard that water from the tray slowly.
after discarding fill the gel containing tray with the easy blue stain for about 20 ml or you can take much more ml also for filling of the gel so and allow it to incubate for the 24 hours for visualization of the separated bag Let's see the result of the overnight incubation. So here you can observe the separated brands on the gel. So here one more thing is the actual separation of the proteins was done in the resolving gel only. So in the top of the stacking gel it is just concentrating on the gel. So only in the resolving gel the separations are taking place. So this is how the step by step protocol of the SDS page was run. If you are having any queries regarding this protocol you can comment me on the comment section and if anyone are new to my channel please do subscribe and like my video. Thank you so much.